Hi, I'm Christine with Torrance City Cable, and today we're checking out the Madrona Marsh Preserve during COVID-19. There are a few changes. First, make sure you have your mask, and then we're going to go check in at that station over there. Let's go. Ambassadors at the front gate go over some rules and regulations before I head inside to explore the 45-acre preserve. It's one of the only remaining vernal uh, freshwater marshes in LA County. And vernal sounds like a big word, but all that really means is spring. So we rely on the rains. The more rain we get, the more our wetlands fill, the more aquatic habitat we have. With more than 750 species of animals and plants, the look of this marsh changes with the season. During the fall, expect to see and hear a lot of birds that are migrating hundreds if not thousands of miles in search of a winter home. Madrona is a place where they can stop, rest, fuel and get water. They'll spend a couple days here and then continue along their migration path. Manager and naturalist Melissa Lobel says the pandemic has motivated many locals to check out the marsh for the first time. We had a significant increase in visitors. We went from one to 200 to 1,200 people in one day. That was a big number for us. She says 60% of their visitors are new and annually they now see about 43,000 people, up from 36,000 just two years ago. Torrance residents Terry and Katsuko Chumley say they're thankful to have a place like this to escape to during the pandemic. Being locked up at home and being limited as to where you can go is, is stressful in itself and it allows us to come out here and calm down and relieve stress, exercise at the same time. And Steve Morici looks forward to visiting again with his wife and their grandchildren throughout the year. It makes it really nice just to get out and get some uh, fresh air and looking forward to the rainy season too when the waterfowl come back through here. Lobel hopes visitors get the mental health break they need here as we all continue to navigate through these uncertain times. Five minutes ago, I heard nine species of birds. I'm in this forest, this canopy. I feel like I've escaped the city. I feel like I've escaped the busy world we live in today. It's a place where I can turn off, relax, be present in the moment. She also hopes more people gain a new appreciation for nature and for the Madrona Marsh Preserve. It's so important that we continue to protect this space. It's a place where plants and animals can thrive, but people too. In Torrance, I'm Christine Lee. Hi, I'm Christine with Torrance City Cable and today I want to introduce you to one of the newest stores here at the Del Amo Fashion Center called Mercy's Cakes in Cups. This is my mom's business and we're so proud of her for finally opening her storefront because she talked about it for so long. For decades, Mercedes Bumpus worked her way up the corporate ladder while searching for her true calling. I knew I wanted to be in some sort of food service. So I started as a hostess, worked my way up to server and trainer and did store openings um, and then got into the management piece of it until I was general manager, and then in those years decided I still loved it, but it wasn't my passion. She says she finally discovered her passion in her late 30s. It just all started with love. I was always in the kitchen. As time went on, I saw myself every holiday and every celebration for the kids. I was the one making the recipes, and so after family and friends seeing what the products were, they were like, hey, we think you're onto something here. For the past three years, the self-taught baker sold her sweets at farmer's markets and provided catering for special events. She just did my wedding last year, too. Did she give you a discount? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Daughter discount. <laughs> it took years for Mercedes to save up enough money to open her first store, but unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic came right after her grand opening. We had opened initially um, in mid-March a few days before quarantine, so it went from an extreme high to an extreme low <laughs> in a very short amount of time. During the difficult days, Mercedes says her faith keeps her going. Ever since I was a teenager, I found the scripture Philippians 4.13, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and that's literally what I've lived by my entire life. And so now in this time, which you know makes me a little emotional, but and this time it's really true, you know, you have to be faithful and know that this is your path and this is where, you know, you're supposed to be. So even on those happy days, it's like, okay, good, you know, let's keep going, let's keep mixing. And on those low days, it's, you know, just get on your knees and pray and just know that, you know, you'll make it through no matter what. And in light of George Floyd's death and the protests that ensued. George Floyd! George Floyd!
Mercedes says she's thankful to be living during this unique time in history. Everything happens for a reason and you know being in this unspeakable era of corona and of you know Black Lives Matter that's happening now I'm definitely proud to have lived through it although it is difficult I'm able to have those conversations with my children and they'll be able to in turn have those conversations with theirs so it's pretty amazing to live through it too when you you know can take a step back and say like wow you know I was a part of that or I lived through that. Mercedes four kids have been with her throughout this entire journey. It's really exciting because then it like inspires you to also try to pursue your dreams and do something like that. It's showing us to aspire for more and not to just settle for like working for other people or doing things that don't make us happy. And her parents always encouraged her to dream big. They're very supportive. They're both entrepreneurs. My mom was a chef. My dad was an engineer. They've always had their own business. So the fact that I was going to follow in that footstep, you know, was very exciting for them. So while these past few months have been a challenge, she's hopeful that things will look up from here and she can continue being a role model for her kids. I just hope to teach them to be happy. I do talk to them about that a lot. You know, of course you're going to stumble and fall. You know, it's trial and error. But ultimately, find your happiness and you'll win. I got a cookie crumb cupcake for my husband and a strawberry shortcake cupcake for myself. You can also pick up a cupcake too. Her shop is located on the second floor of the outside portion of the Del Amo Fashion Center right across from Urban Outfitters. Well, I'm back out here at Mercy's Cakes and Cups with Mercedes. And since we filmed that story, so much more has happened. Tell me about that. Yes, definitely. So we had another uh, mandate to close down the malls, um, the indoor portion. And so luckily for us, we're on the outdoors, so we didn't have to close. Although we've closed twice before for the pandemic. So that was somewhat of a relief. Um, however, you know, it still has um, less in the foot traffic because, you know, being in this huge mall and everyone knows that it's typically closed, then that, you know, lessens the desire to, to come over. So we've definitely seen a drop, you know, since the last mandate of closing down. Are you trying to do anything different to promote your business? Oh, definitely. You know, we're very, we're very active on social media. You know, we have our Facebook, we have our Instagram where we're, you know, just trying to keep our, you know, products visible. Um, the mall has also given us an outdoor market um, for the weekend. So that's been really great. Um, so we were able to put up a booth, you know, outside our colorful booth and have, have all of our products mm -hmm. and um, just reach, you know, new guests that way. How are you staying motivated? Because it seems like <laughs> just as soon as you opened and until now, you're just going through one obstacle after another. Um, it's very difficult, you know, it's very difficult, you know, because at this time it just seems like, you know, there's, there's no end, you know, initially you just feel like, okay, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and now it seems like that light is, you know, kind of dimming. So it can be hard to be motivated, but again, just, you know, believing in my faith and that this is my path and where I'm supposed to be. That's, you know, what's keeping me going. <laughs> is there anything you want to leave our viewers with? Um, just, you know, stay faithful. Again, just know that, you know, this is happening for a reason and um, eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mercedes, for taking a few minutes to chat with me again. Definitely. And thank you at home for watching. We'll see you again soon. Hi, I'm Christine with Torrance City Cable and we are out here at First Hair Studio. I actually got a haircut here just days before services moved outdoors. Today we are getting a haircut. My first haircut since the COVID quarantine. Here we are. There's a check-in table over there and then we're going straight in. 아줌마, 안녕하세요. 오랜만이에요. 아줌마, 이거 다 쓰니까 이상하다. Two years ago, I introduced you to my hairstylist, Jin Hee Kim. She reopened her small business on June 1st after two and a half months of being shut down due to COVID-19. Now that she's back, Jin Hee says her new reality looks a lot different.
<laughs> While I'm here for a haircut and a root touch-up, another customer is finishing up her perm. Isa says doing her hair is her form of self-care. I think it gives you something to be excited about, I don't know, just to be happy about, just because everything's really gloomy cool right now. How does it look? I really like it. Um, I've had bad experiences before where like, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but this is actually I love it. She's preparing to return home to Washington, D.C. after staying out here for a while. Yeah, I'm excited to go back. Sometimes when you haven't seen your friends for a long time, like you're kind of nervous. You don't know if you gained weight or, you know, if you look different. So, yeah, I'm excited now. <laughs> Bye! Jin Hee cleans her space thoroughly after each customer, and I've never seen this place so empty. This waiting area used to be filled with things to read, but now they're all gone. No water. <laughs> Regardless of any discomforts, Jin Hee says she's thankful to be able to work during this time. She's grateful for every customer that comes in and hopes they continue to take good care of themselves. In Torrance, I'm Christine Lee, Kimbap TV. Since moving her services outside, Jin Hee says she has seen a dip in business. And because she's the only person who's able to work, she's trying to line up as many customers as she can one after the other. In Torrance, I'm Christine Lee for Torrance City Cable.